Today, I'm going to be sharing a technique for fried chicken that you can season your chicken inside and out. And when you fry your chicken, you can be confident that it will cook right through. If you want to see how I'm doing this, stick around and let's get cooking. For the fried chicken preparation, I'm going to do it a little bit different today. So what I did, I took the chicken drumstick like this. And I slid it in the middle and I'm going to show you how I did one of them. So just cut it down like this. And separate this piece from the bone. Just like that. And then separate the other piece. And this is going to make the chicken season very very nicely from the inside and the outside and when you fry your chicken it's gonna finish in a beautiful crispy um, brown finish because sometimes when i find when i fry chicken drumstick you have to really make sure that it's fried properly because the bone will still have like blood inside and i hate when that happens. so when you do it like this you're doing two things. You're seasoning this chicken perfectly well, plus it's an easy frying and it's gonna cook right through without any problem. So let me wash my hands clean and come back to season this chicken. So now we're gonna start seasoning the chicken and I'm gonna go in first with some salt. I'll leave all the measurement and ingredients I'm using today in the description box below salt we're gonna go in with black pepper a nice portion we're gonna add some paprika for color and some heat and this will give some nice flavor as well we're gonna go in with some green seasoning some fresh thyme green onion garlic and pepper I have here about five tablespoons of green seasoning I'm gonna go in with my hands and thoroughly mix the chicken. And I will leave it in the marinade for about half an hour before I start frying it. And look how beautiful these are. You can see that the chicken is seasoned well from the inside and the outside. It will have a very beautiful flavor. So if you never had fried chicken like this before please give it a try you will never regret doing it this way so while my chicken is marinating i'm gonna make some sweet potato fries but i'm not frying these on the stove i'll put them in my oven to cook and we will get a beautiful finish the hobby peeled potatoes and we cut them back in half and now we're gonna make like strips because sweet potato cook very quickly and this is how we're gonna cut them to make our sweet potato fries in the oven so hubby is gonna take over now so now I have all the sweet potato nicely cut up I have some um, coconut oil right on top here you can add butter if you wish and I brush the pan with some coconut oil I'm gonna add some salt, just a little sprinkle of salt. And we're gonna go in with some black pepper. And I'm gonna mix these up with the butter so we're gonna avoid any sticking. And then I want to spread them out so they're not piling up on each other because we want them to cook without sticking. 
So I'll do the same for this. The chicken is well marinated. I have some eggs, um, a little bit of milk, a pinch of black pepper and salt. And I have here some flour, a pinch of salt and some paprika. So we're gonna prepare to fry our chicken now. I have my oil warming up on the stove. I'm using coconut oil. So once the oil is ready, I'm going to start dust, lightly dusting the chicken and frying them. So in the eggs goes the chicken. Make sure it's well coated and then we're going to put it into the flour. And then we're going to make sure that this is well coated with the flour. Shake out any excess flour and into the oil it goes. You want your oil on medium heat so it's not burning on high heat and cook them until you have a nice golden brown color. So I'm going to do two at a time because I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Now it's time to flip the chicken on the other side. We want to make sure that the chicken is cooked properly and develop that nice crust on the outside. They are looking good and my kitchen is smelling like KFC. So I have one more batch going. Listen to this crunch here. The chicken is fried really, really nice. And because it's open up like this, it's cooked through from end to end and really, really crunchy and nice. So I'm gonna be plating up very soon. So here is dinner tonight, my delicious fried chicken, sweet potato fries. I'm going to serve it up with some romaine lettuce and we have some homemade dips here. I have a sour cream and pepper sauce with a little bit, a hint of ketchup dip. And this one here is a barbecue sauce. So I'm going to plate up and let you know how everything tastes. But before I do so, I have a birthday request. I'm gonna do the shout out right after this. Happy birthday greetings going out to Imran from your loving wife, Alicia, your beautiful daughter, Sahana, and from your in-laws, the Hussein. They would like you to know that they love you and wish you God's richest blessing. So here is that beautiful fried chicken, sweet potato fries, but I, we didn't fry them on the stove. I cooked them in the oven, less oil. And I have my two dips here. I'm gonna go in with the sweet potato fries. And this, is, this dip is everybody's favorite in my house with the sour cream. This is your mouthful, guys. That fries is so nice and soft, so sweet, and so flavorful that I can sit on and have a whole plate of this for my dinner only. So I'm going to take another bite. Cheers, guys. Now we're going to go in for our chicken. And I'm going to take piece right out from here. And you can see their seasoning still full in the chicken. And my kids already gave me a good review that the chicken was so good. And I'm eating with my fingers today. This mouthful is for all you guys. And the chicken is cooked right through. The chicken is well seasoned from every single bite of it. Inside, outside, there's a crunch on the outside. And the inside is so flavorful. I'm gonna taste piece with the barbecue sauce. What an amazing, quick dinner. Everybody's favorite fried chicken. So if you like the recipe with the way I cut this chicken, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you will give it a try. It is so flavorful. You can add your own seasoning. 
and make it to your own twist. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Until then, I want to say stay blessed, stay safe. Love you guys. Bye for now.